good afternoon at TikTok. Basically, uh, what I'm going to talk about is a story between Abigail, Nabal, and David. A lot of people hear about Esther and Ruth and all these other important people of the Bible, but barely anybody ever talks about Abigail. And I feel like Abigail is the most like predominant wise woman that we can all learn a lesson from, especially if you're married. So a brief summary of this, you can check it out in Samuel, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 25, 1 through 38. I'm going to just go around this really quick. So Abigail was the wife of Nabal. We can see Abigail's name means my father's joy. And Nabal's name means foolish, shamelessly, and proterious. And then David's name means beloved. So if you check out this story, you'll see that Abigail's married to Nabal. And David comes along. David comes along in this story because basically he protected Nabal's land. Nabal was not rich at the time, but he gained wealth because of David's protection. Uh, Nabal had uh, riches and David came to basically collect on the fact that, hey, I protected your land and you're able to get wealth from it. I would just like to have a little gift from protecting your land because you gained some wealth from it. You know, not like I need it or anything, but it would be nice, like a curious gift. At the time, Nabal and Abigail were married. She was married by uh, her father gave her into marriage to Nabal. Nabal was a rich, rude man. Um, I don't know if he was always like that, but you can see that he did have an addiction. He was a drunkard at the time in the story, and he was very cruel to his wife. Now, Nabal at the time did not like David. He could not see the future of what David's destiny was. Nabal at the time refused to give David a gift, and because of that, that made David boil, and he wanted to go slaughter the men, including everybody in the village, up to his newborn, uh, up to all the male, men in the household. Nabal, um, Abigail could see the fact that David was serious about this, and she went to confront, well not confront, she went against her husband's uh, word and provided a forgiveness gift, basically a tithe to him. She prepared a whole bunch of stuff to ease David's mind so they would not slaughter the business, the, the village, and she basically saved the whole village from the wrath of David because it was justly wrath. He felt like this person was not honoring who he was, and David, uh, Nabal could not basically come to humble himself uh, to respond correctly. Now Abigail tried to give her husband counsel and she could see that he was to the point of not being able to be counseled. Nobody could counsel Nabal. He had a hard heart, he was stubborn, and he was a drunkard. Now Nabal's characteristics was rude and true and he lived all the way up to that point. And he was given multiple chances to repent and turn around and he did not. Abigail at the time was a wise woman. She acted swiftly seeing the fact that David was seriously going to kill and slaughter the whole village with his 400 men coming. She basically got the bread together and drinks together and gifts for him to welcome him there to ease his heart. And she spoke with kindness and about his future reminded David of who he was, the importance of him not slaughtering Nabal so he can't and become the king of David. She was respectful, courteous, wise, and um, honest, and her character reflected that. Abigail at the time served Nabal all the way until he died. Nabal was so <laughs> angry and mean and unable to receive counsel from his wife that it basically ultimately the wrath of God came upon him instead of David doing it. Nabal got sick and Abigail served her husband for 10 days up until he passed away and died. He was cruel to her, he was abusive to her, he was also a drunk, a, uh, drunk, and he was not kind to this woman. David at the time, seeing how uh, nice and great character that this woman had, and he admired her, but he didn't overstep the bounds of that relationship until it was not. At the end, Abigail ended up getting married, uh, inheriting everything that Nabal had. He was a wealthy man as a widow because her husband died. He had a heart attack and died after 10 days of being sick. David came, he found out about it, and married Abigail, and he valued her skills, uh, her, her, her counsel, and she, she was valued as a woman. This is a phenomenal story of someone who wasn't being seen in their marriage, trying to do everything to get her husband to like turn around, seek counsel, and get help, trying to dodge the wrath of God by repenting and taking, uh, I guess, responsibility for her husband's foolishness to try to, you know, avoid being slaughtered by David's army. That woman stepped up with white counsel and she did disobey her husband to try to get the things necessary for her to live the next day. And because of that, she still served her husband because that was her husband trying to help him all the way to the last day that she died because she was loyal, wise, faithful, and humble. Now, this woman had to serve and marry this man for so long, and God probably seen her crying in her heart of saying, This man, I don't know what to do with this man. Like, this man is horrible. And 
God relieved her of that marriage. You know, Nabal had oppor uh, opportune chances to change and he did not change. God had to come down on that. So sometimes as wise, we need to step out of the way, you know, own up to our part and our responsibility, pray, ask for forgiveness. But you know, there's only so much you could do where you just gotta let it go to God. It's in God's hand. And God actually honored this woman with a new spouse, a new husband, that took her wise counsel, that used her skills to her full potential. Because when she was a Nabar, he had her operating underneath her skills. She was a leader, she had great uh, characteristics or skills, and Nabar had her like at the lowest level just doing housewife skills. He didn't value her characteristics, her skills, her traits that she had. She was just there to serve him only. Where with David, when he married, he valued her counsel. They worked together as a team. And then he understood that this woman had high value and that she was wise and smart. She was more than just a wife. She was actually a woman that had uh, value and counsel. He seen her worth while she was serving her husband where he was at. So this is a phenomenal message in that. And I hope that you take the time to read that message about Abigail and Nabal. It's a good one. It made me cry. But have a wonderful day. Thank you.